Our desires carry immense significance for us. They occupy our thoughts incessantly, refusing to release their grip. They dominate our minds around the clock, and we yearn to reach the desired outcome as swiftly as possible. We hold the belief that the current desire we covet is our ultimate goal, convinced that its attainment will usher in boundless and enduring happiness and joy. Yet, it is crucial to question whether this happiness and joy truly stand the test of time. Reflect on past manifestations and desires you once fervently longed for. Was the pursuit of those desires worth the tears shed and the sleepless nights? Take, for instance, the grades you aspired to attain in high school. You studied tirelessly, and upon achieving them, did they genuinely bring lasting contentment? Or did you yearn for more? The crux of the matter lies in placing our desires on a pedestal, perpetually elevating them above all else. We become engulfed by these thoughts, ensnared in a never-ending cycle. This approach constitutes an unhealthy manner of manifesting our desires. It's paramount to recognize that contemplating our desires is beneficial, as is envisioning and picturing them. However, fervently clinging to our desires and persistently dwelling on them hinders effective manifestation. In today's video, we will delve into the concept of detachment as a constructive practice in the art of manifestation. Through the embrace of detachment, we can attain our desired outcomes more efficiently. Rather than fixating solely on the end goal, we should relish the journey towards success. The journey itself is replete with moments of joy, notwithstanding the challenges and hurdles we may encounter along the way. Upon eventually achieving success, we come to realize that the entire journey was well worth it. Hello and welcome back to my latest video. If you're new to my channel, I extend a warm welcome to you. As mentioned earlier, today's focus centers on fostering the habit of detachment in our lives to enhance the efficacy of our manifestation process. I encourage you to fasten your seat belts and listen attentively until the end. If any part proves perplexing, feel free to rewind and replay. Adjusting the playback speed is also an option available in the settings on the right side of this video. Take a moment to center yourself, listen with care, concentrate, and comprehend. Now, let's delve in. I want to reiterate once more the significance of asking yourself whether past triumphs held the same weight as when you first achieved them. Do those high school grades still carry the same weight? Does that prior promotion still hold the same importance for you? Most likely, they do not. Hence, it is vital not to excessively prioritize any current desire. Elevating it to a pedestal means obsessively fixating on it, zeroing in on that one thing because you desire it. While you certainly yearn for many things in life, it's imperative to acknowledge that once we attain a desire and taste its fulfillment, we swiftly move on to the next. Therefore, refrain from designating any desire as the paramount one in your life, for it simply isn't. Now, let's explore the circumstances that unfold in our lives. Many individuals encounter challenges, and in those moments, they often exclaim, this situation is not what I intended to manifest. This is not the path I meant to follow. But what if I were to tell you that you are not veering off course? The circumstances or challenging situations you encounter, both presently and in the past, are the outcome of what you have attracted into your life. These circumstances do not arise independently. Nothing materializes unless and until you draw it in. 
Everything you witness and undergo right now is a consequence of your past attraction. Your external reality serves as a mirror to what you hold within yourself. The same principle holds true for circumstances. Your thoughts about the external world materialize in your physical reality. It's not confined solely to your non-physical imagination. The only distinction lies in how reality unfolds as opposed to imagination. You might have had instances of what seemed like delusion in your life, where your perception felt markedly different from physical reality. Delusion is often looked upon negatively by society because it's not deemed as real. Our minds tend to validate only what we visually perceive and tangibly experience, rather than what we imagine. However, in the realm of spirituality, delusion takes on a different connotation. It refers to entering a state where you don't perceive limitations or obstacles that may hinder your progress. While the term delusional may not be commonly employed in spiritual contexts, manifesting and imagining without constraints or hindrances can be viewed as a form of constructive delusion. It's perfectly acceptable to be in this state until it brings about positive transformations in your life. Hence, being in a state of constructive delusion is also a form of detachment from the outcome. When you envision your desire and embrace a state of constructive delusion, you contemplate the path toward attaining that desire. It's not simply jumping to a conclusion, rather, it involves embracing a delusional state with optimistic intentions and possibilities. You have arrived at the point where you contemplate the necessary connections to reach your desired outcome. You connect the dots, even if some of them may not actually exist, in order to attract situations that resemble or align with your desired outcome, imagination, or even the picture of your delusion. Being detached does not imply disconnecting from the outcome itself. Many people misunderstand detachment as distancing oneself from the desired outcome. In reality, being detached means freeing yourself from constant preoccupation with the desire. The more you dwell on your desire, the more you become fixated on it, elevating it to a high pedestal and generating numerous possibilities related to it. In my experience, prolonged fixation on a desire generates an abundance of possibilities that can lead to confusion. You become uncertain about which possibility is the correct one to attain your desire. Questions arise, such as which opportunities are the right ones to pursue or if you should explore all available opportunities. It's crucial not to find yourself ensnared in such a situation. This is where detachment becomes invaluable. Detachment is highly beneficial when you free yourself from negative thoughts and from the feeling that you won't achieve your desired outcome. It involves detaching from the outcome itself rather than the desire. By doing so, you reach your desired destination with greater ease. You discover a comfortable space and effortlessly create an environment conducive to your journey towards the desired outcome. A highly effective manifestation technique is to visualize from the perspective of your desired outcome rather than focusing on its absence. Once you acknowledge that your desire is on its way and that it already exists in some form along your life's journey, you live with the assurance that it will come to you. With this mindset, you no longer concern yourself with external factors that may hinder or impede your manifested desires. You become an observer of situations, not allowing them to divert your focus from the path. Regardless of any situation that attempts to draw your attention away, you remain resolute in the knowledge that your desire awaits you at a certain point along the journey. Once you adopt this mindset, you are prepared to embrace the magic of the universe. 
In conclusion, we have come to the end of this video. If you have reached this point, I sincerely thank you for listening. If you found the content valuable, please click the like button below and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you also subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Thank you.